The Red Wings dropped to the bottom of the Atlantic Division last night. The struggles continue, but there at least was a silver lining at the Joe. The Stanley Cup and the guys who brought it to Detroit in 1997 for the first time in 42 years. Your captain, number 19, Steve Eiserman. It never gets old seeing Steve Eiserman in that Red Wings jersey. All but four members of the 97 Stanley Cup champs in the house. Eiserman told the team he'd be there just hours before he showed up. They brought the banner down for a team photo. And was that the moment of the night or what? The 20th anniversary of that Stanley Cup championship, Vladimir Konstantinov carrying Stanley off the ice. I guess what I really remember too is, is just the determination of the group that, uh, you know, at no point, whether we won the first round, second round, or third round, did anybody really feel like the job was done. It was like a, collectively the team held its breath until the clock went to zero and the fourth game against uh, Philadelphia. It's been a fantastic building. It was a great building to play in, uh, watch, uh, watch games for the fans. The atmosphere is fantastic, but uh, I think it's time. And uh, everything I've seen with the new building is spectacular. Um, uh, it's going to be great for the organization and uh, uh, everything that's going on around uh, the building. It's going to be, uh, I think, fantastic for the city as well. So um, it's been a great building, but uh, it's time to move on. Before the game, the group of Stanley Cup champs getting a treat, an inside look at Little Caesars Arena, and each of the guys getting their own hard hat with the cup logo and their number on it. They brought some hardware with them too. The cup and the team, such a treat for the workers building the Red Wings' new home. So crazy to see all those guys come back from all corners of the world. Russia, Sweden, across Canada, the U.S. That team truly taught me the game of hockey.